Another cost flow method is the moving average method. In moving average method, the average cost of goods on hand must be recal recalculated anytime additional inventory is purchased at a unit cost different from the previously calculated average cost of goods on hand. Okay. For further discussion of moving average method, we have a sample problem he here. And the problem mentioned in example number two is actually the same on the example number one. But the questions are different. Number one, under the moving average method, what amount should Coco Shibo report as inventory at January 31, 2019? And number two, under the moving average method, what amount should Coco Shibo report as cost of goods sold at January 31, 2019? Weighted average method and moving average method are different to each other in terms of computing the unit, the cost of, the cost of inventory per unit. They have a different approach in computing the cost per unit. In moving average method, we have to recalculate the unit cost anytime additional inventory is purchased. So to illustrate the moving average method, we have to answer the questions of this problem. We have the units here, units, the unit cost, and the total cost. We are going to compute the ending inventory and the cost of goods sold using the moving average method. We have here the balance. At January 1, 2019, in units, 1,000 units. In unit cost, $1. Total cost of beginning inventory is $1 thousand dollars then on january 7 coco shibo purchased 600 units we have to put the purchases january 7 20 19 600 units cost per unit is three dollars per unit total cost of purchases on january 7 is one thousand eight hundred dollars at this point, after recording the purchases of January 7, 2019, the total units on hand by Kokushibo is 1,600 units and the total cost is $2,800. In moving average method, the average cost of goods on hand must be recalculated anytime additional inventory is purchased. Here, we have an additional inventory of 600 units. So, we have to recalculate the unit cost. And how to recalculate the unit cost? Or the moving or the average unit cost, we have the total cost of 2,800 divided by 1,600. Therefore, the unit cost or the average unit cost using the moving average method is... 2,800 divided by 1,600 units equals $1.75. Next, there is a sale on January 20, 2019. So we have sales January 20, 2019, 900 units. So we have to deduct the number of units sold, 900 units. The unit cost for the sales of January 20 would be the recent calculated average cost, which is 1.75. The total cost of sales of January 20, 2019, 900 units times 1.75 equals $1,575. After recording of sale of January 20, the total balance or the total units on hand of Kokushibo is 700 units. 
the total cost of inventory after recording the sales of January 2020-19 is $1,225. Okay, now consider the purchases of January 7 and the sale of January 20. Last, the purchase of or the purchases of January 25, 2019. So purchases January 25, 2019. 400 units. Cost per unit is $5 per unit. Total cost of purchases of January 25, 2019 is $2,000. After recording the purchases of January 25, 2019, the units on hand of Kokushibo is 1,100 units and the total cost is 3,225 units. Ah, sorry, $3,225 since it, it is a total cost. <clears throat> Again, under moving average method, the average cost of goods on hand must be recalculated anytime additional inventory is purchased. Here, another additional inventory of 400 units due to the purchases of January 25, 2019. So there is an increase again of inventory due to the purchase of January 25. So we have to recalculate again the average cost after recording the purchases of January 25. 3,225 divided by 1,100 rounded to two decimal places. The unit cost or the average unit cost is $2.93. Let's proceed to question. Under the moving average method, what amount should Kokoshibo report as inventory at January 31, 2019? The answer is 3,225 dollars. Number two, using the moving average method, what amount should Kokoshibo report as cost of goods sold at January 31, 2019? So we have to total all the sale transaction in our computation. So we have the sale only on January 20 of 900 units with a total cost of 1,575. Therefore, the cost of goods sold is 1,575 dollars.